shifting of pressure belts. A pattern of alternate high and low pressure belts exists over the earth. These pressure belts are not continuous because the surface of the earth is made of both land and water. Both get heated in different ways. Let's have a look at the four major pressure belts. The first pressure belt is the equatorial low pressure belt that extends up to 5 degrees north and south of the equator. Being equator region, it receives direct sun rays and thus the air here is warm. This hot air expands, becomes light and rises. Hence, it creates a belt of low pressure. This is a region of calm air with very little wind and therefore it is also known as the doldrums. The second pressure belt is the subtropical high pressure belt that coincides with latitudes of 30 degrees to 35 degrees north and south of the equator. The air that rises at the equator eventually meets the tropopause where it can rise no further. It cools down as it rises and spreads outwards towards the poles, gradually cooling and sinking back down to the surface at about 30 degrees north and south of the equator, which causes an increase in air pressure. The third major air pressure belt is the subpolar low pressure belt around latitudes 60 degrees and 65 degrees north and south of the equator. It is created mainly due to the rotation of the earth which swings the bulk of the air towards the equator. These are areas of storminess, especially in winter. The fourth and last major air pressure belt is the polar high pressure belt located in the polar region. This belt is created because in this region the air is extremely cold and heavy leading to a high pressure. Since pressure belts are caused mainly due to the temperature differences on the earth's surface they move in response to the migration of the sun. If the earth had not been inclined towards the sun, the pressure belts would have been as they are. But it is not so, because the earth is inclined 23 and a half degree towards the sun. On account of this inclination, differences in heating of the continents oceans and pressure conditions in January and July vary greatly. January and July represents the winter and summer seasons respectively in the northern hemisphere. The exact opposite conditions prevail in the southern hemisphere. When the sun is overhead on the Tropic of Cancer, 21st June, the pressure belts shift 5 degrees northward. Whereas, when the sun shines vertically overhead on the Tropic of Capricorn, 22nd December, the pressure belts shift 5 degrees southward from their original position. The shifting of pressure belts causes seasonal changes in the climate, especially between latitudes 30 degrees and 40 degrees in both hemispheres. In this region, the Mediterranean type of climate is experienced because of the shifting of permanent belts southwards and northwards with the overhead position of the sun. During winters, westerlies prevail and cause rain. During summers, 
dry trade winds blow offshore and are unable to give rainfall in these regions. When the sun shines vertically over the equator on 21st March and 23rd September, that is, during the equinoxes, the pressure belts remain balanced in both the hemispheres. Thank you.